and uh, and the rockets now are much bigger, uh, and we've we've got uh, Falcon 9, which is about a million pound thrust rocket, um, and we've got an upgraded version of Falcon 9 that's going to launch next year, which will be almost one and a half million pounds of thrust. And then And then, and then very importantly, we're also working on reusability. Um, because if you, if you really boil it down to you know, the, the various, the, 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 the crux of wh why don't we have a base on Mars, as I mentioned, there's, there's rocket technology. Uh, but what, what really needs to be developed, the key invention that's necessary is um, a rapidly and completely reusable rocket. Um, and um, this is a very difficult thing to do on Earth. Um, because gra Earth's gravity is quite, quite high. It's right on the cusp of impossibility for such a thing for a chemical rocket. Uh, if, so if you take an expendable rocket, even after people, a lot of smart people are using advanced materials um, and, uh, and, and really approaching the limits of, of engine efficiency and everything, you, you'll typically get 2 to 3% of your liftoff mass to, to orbit. Um, that's for expendable rocket. Now if you say, well, we want to make it reusable, we want to bring it back to the launch site, it's got to uh, survive the rigors of a re-entry. Um, it's got to, all the systems have to be capable of surviving um, multiple firings and uh, thermal fatigue and uh, it just, it's really, uh, you add a lot of mass when, when, when that happens. And previously, when people have tried to make a reusable system, they found that, um, that they would get some portion of the way and then conclude that success was not one of the possible outcomes. Um, And, uh, and, and, but if you do all those things right, then, then this, it is possible to make this work. Um, and this is what has given me hope recently in, in, in the last few years, because I wasn't sure whether it was possible. But in the last few years, I've become convinced that it is, it is possible. Of course, just because something is possible does not mean it will occur. Um, but but I, think, I think it can occur, which is, like I said, you know, success being one of the possible outcomes is very important. Uh, <laughs> millions of tons of cargo. Um, so you really need a fully reusable Mars transportation system, which is yet a, a more difficult step than creating a fully reusable Earth system. Um, and then I, I, I was, was really worried that that would not be possible. But last year, I became convinced that it actually is possible, which was made me very happy, actually. Uh, <laughs> Does a, does a trip to Mars have to be in order for it to be a self-sustaining reaction? Um, and I think it's got, you've got to roughly get to the, to the uh, I think around half a million dollars. If, it, if, it, if, it, if people could pay half a million dollars to move to Mars, sell all this stuff on Earth, because you don't need it, obviously, <laughs> um, uh, then, then you could and move to Mars, then I think that, that would work, because um, you know, that, that's the, the, basically the net worth of, of sort of a roughly middle income earning person after about 25 years in the United States is roughly half a million dollars. So, um, in fact, it's kind of hard to buy a house in Southern California for, you know, half a million dollars in a lot of neighborhoods. So, 
So, but I think at roughly that level is where it would be, is where it would work. So that's where we're going to get to. Um, and my calculations show that it, that it should be possible. That, that it, in fact, it is possible, according to me. Um, uh, and, and then, so, so that, but there's a great deal of work that has to occur, and then, and then to make to make it a reality. Um, so that that I think is, uh, you know, maybe, yeah, I think I think that's that should be really good reason to feel good about the, the possibility of, of of life on Mars. I think um, I, I, I'm hopeful that the um, other launch providers will head in the direction of reasonability. Um, I think it's, it's quite it's quite fundamental. I mean, it, it's just as fundamental in rocketry as it is in other forms of transport, um, such as cars or planes or bicycles or anything. Um, the the cost to refuel our rocket um, or reload, which is actually mostly oxygen on board, um, is only about uh, two, three hundred thousand um, dollars, but the cost of the rocket itself is sixty million. You know, it's kind of like a, an aircraft. Um, aircraft are real expensive, but not to buy, to, to construct and, and buy, but uh, not expensive to refuel, relatively speaking. So, um, so it's really quite fundamental. Like the, the potential, if you've got a, a, a rocket that can be uh, fully and rapidly reused, um, it's somewhere in the order of a hundredfold cost reduction. In, in marginal costs. You still have your fixed costs, but in marginal costs, it's a hundredfold reduction. See verify Falcon 9 is in startup. 
organizing startup. Mine's thirty. Minus twenty. Fucking okay, no, straight up white pressure. D minus ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Zero. Lift off of the Falcon. Thank you. 